everybody. Today I want to show you some of the things that I have planted around on my decks and in my garden. And I also want to show you some of the pictures that I've taken so that I can inspire you to notice some of the little things that sometimes we overlook. Last week I showed you how I restored my pots to make them look new. This week I want to show you my flowers in my garden. I wanted to show you around our decks and some of my favorite places to relax. And this is one of the favorite places that our whole family loves to relax. And that is by the pool. Come on, let me show you some of the other places around our house that we love to sit. <laughs> I love to create comfortable places to sit outside around my house and this is one of my comfortable places. I have my glider and I sit out here and I read my favorite magazines and I look out at the view. It is totally awesome and very relaxing. <laughs> Now let me show you some of the things that I have on my back porch where I keep my herbs. I love to make herb gardens on and around my back porch because my kitchen is right off of my back porch. And what I am doing now is planting a small herb garden just off the side of the steps. In this small garden, I'm planting cilantro and basil and they will go good with my salsa. Now the next thing that I want to do is add some color because I absolutely love it when I have a little color mixed in with my herbs. There, that garden's done. This pot is filled with all different kinds of herbs. I have parsley and basil and dill and I even have some chives. But I forgot to paint this pot. <laughs> oh well. Here I have lemon balm and I have some mint. My son loves mint tea. In this pot right off of the steps I have some dill and some bee balm. The bee balm is great for teas and the dill might come in handy if I decide I want to pickle anything this year. And you could also dehydrate this as I have done that in the past. This year I wanted to add a little extra something by adding a red pot on each side of my porch. And this has oregano in it and this is thyme along with a flower. All these pots have sweet basil on them because I absolutely love sweet basil. So I always grow a lot of sweet basil every year. I love to dehydrate my basil also. It is a great way to have your herbs last all year long. I have a blog post on how I dehydrate my basil and I'll put a link to that down below in the description box. Here is the bucket that I redid and I put a pepper plant in it so that when I feel like having a cayenne pepper I just walk from the kitchen right out here and pick me some cayenne pepper. In this pot I have some sedums and they're a really hardy plant and I really like them but when they grow they get really big in the summertime and they kind of took over this whole pot and I couldn't plant flowers in it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out and I'm going to repot them somewhere else. Last year my husband made these square flower pots for me and this year we had these old containers. They, the water got into them and they froze and busted on the bottom. So what I did with this one is I filled it with dirt and planted a tomato plant and put flowers around it. I even planted my sedums around it to give it a nice comfortable cozy feeling over here on this part of my deck. Now I have flowers in this pot to match the flowers that are all around my deck in these pots. One of the little things in life that I enjoy so much is lavender and this is my lavender plant. And sometimes when I walk by my lavender plant I run my hands over the lavender and smell it and it smells so good. Lavender is awesome. Here's another favorite spot that my husband and I totally enjoy on the weekends. We'll sit out here in the evening and we'll light a fire in our small fire pit and we'll roast hot dogs and marshmallows. And this year I decided I would put some peppers and tomatoes on both sides of the steps. I love this area. 
One of the reasons why I love to plant a lot of flowers around my house is because I love the wildlife that they attract. Let's take a look at some of the butterflies that I have taken pictures of. Here is my vegetable garden, and I know it doesn't look like much now, but I'm hoping that it is going to produce lots this summer. I have four rows of green beans. My husband loves green beans, and I usually freeze them, and we have green beans all winter long. Then I have two rows of peppers and a row of tomatoes. I also have two surprise plants down here that came up from last year's I guess plants that had reseeded itself this year and I love surprises and I can't wait to see what they are. I kind of think that they're cucumbers and then maybe I'll make some pickles. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the beautiful pictures that I have taken around my house this spring and seeing all my gardens and flowers that I planted. I hope that it inspires you to want to plant some extra plants too. That maybe you could capture those beautiful things in nature. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. And I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye! And I can see the train! Yay! <laughs> the train is really cool when you're not recording. <laughs>